morning, everyone. First of all, thank you very much for coming. I would like to thank all of my colleagues that are here with me today and, and all of the, the victims uh, that have come to show their support. Obviously, we're here today uh, to send a message to the Attorney General and to this administration that we feel we need independent counsel. We need a special prosecutor. Uh, there's a myriad of reasons why, and some of my colleagues are going to some of those details, but at, at its core, it, it goes to the integrity of our justice system and it goes to the integrity of our markets. Um, when you have $1.6 billion missing, now still 900 to a trillion that hasn't been recovered, and it's the money of hard-working people like farmers that, that aren't even speculating in the markets. They're simply hedging for their crops and trying to keep stable prices for everyone in America that, that, that eats their, their crops and their food. That's a travesty. When we have institutions that come before hearings here, the House of Representatives, the U.S. Congress, and says they don't know where the money is, they don't know what happened to it, they don't have any answers whatsoever, and all we keep getting is extensions and extensions, the American people deserve answers. The victims that have lost tremendous sums of money deserve answers. And in light of the way this administration and the way Eric Holder has handled other situations, like Fast and Furious, Solyndra, the GSA debacle, the scandal, I think it's time to tell America that we can instill some confidence. We can take a step forward and putting independent counsel or a special prosecutor would be one way that we could do that. So again, I want to thank everyone for being here.